Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video, or welcome if you are new. Thank you for joining me today. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk you through my acrylic application. So I'm just going in with a full nude colour on all my nails. Um, but I am doing a peel off method so that because I do my nails so often, they're easier to... Um, take off and do a different design so I'm not ruining my natural nails so um, I've already showed you the products I'm using um, everything will be listed down below um, so I haven't gone in with the prep and prime because I'm using uh, McCart's peel off base coat so there's no need for me to, to do those two steps so I'm going straight in with my acrylic. Um, I've picked up a medium size bead and I've placed it where the tip meets the natural nail. And then I uh, start tapping that to feather it out at the back on the natural nail. And then I am slowly pulling it down to the free edge of the nail. And um, majority of this I do do in two beads. Uh, there is a few where I do have to add an extra bead, but don't doesn't matter how many beads it takes you to um, put place on the nail, as long as you're happy with the structure and um, that they're not too thick, then it doesn't matter. I I I never started off doing it with just two beads. It was always a lot more but obviously now I've got more um, experienced it's um, a lot easier for me to be able to do that so um, I'm just struggling there to get a bit off the free edge that was hanging over so um, I'm going to go in with my second bead now up by the cuticle and with this euphoria um, acrylic if I put it in the correct place by the cuticle, so not too close, but not too far away, it automatically sort of flows into the correct shape for the cuticles. So I don't have to um, do too much around the cuticle area because of how good this acrylic is. It um, just literally just moulds around the cuticle, doesn't run because I've got my beads to powder ratio um, pretty good. Sometimes they're not, it, it does depend on like the weather as well. So again I'm going in with a medium sized bead near uh, on where the tip meets the natural nail just making sure that I uh, keep the side walls all tucked in. Doggy, shut up. That's me, dog in the background hearing things. Um, yeah, so I'm making sure it's side wall to side wall and I am going down and then slowly using the body of my brush just to pull the acrylic down to the free edge. So how is everyone doing? I hope you're enjoying my content. I'm really enjoying creating stuff for you. Um, if there is anything you'd like me to recreate, then um, comment down below or go ahead over to my Instagram and either tag me or send me a picture. Uh, my information is down in the description box. So as you can see with that bead, it didn't quite reach the corners of the free edge. So I'm still going to go in and do my cuticle bead. And then once I'm happy with the cuticle bead, I'll then go in and add another small bead onto the free edge to make sure I've got the correct thickness I need at the free edge. So I'm going to let you watch the last three nails and then I will come back um, when it's design time. Um, I do do my filing off of camera 
uh, purely because I'm still getting used to trying to get it in view and in the right angles. Every time I watch it back, I'm always out of shot. So I'm slowly getting there, but yeah, um, I will jump back on when we get to the design process. <laughs>
so I'm going in with the Euphoria 123 Prep Spray, uh, Prep Prime and Sanitize Spray. Just going to clean off all the dust off my nails, ready for my artwork. So I'm going in with um, Euphoria's Matte Top Coat because I'm doing some art on top I always put a matte top coat down to give me a smooth surface to work on I find it a hell of a lot easier than trying to do it on just a buffed surface so um, <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna put the matte top coat on all of the nails and then I'll cure for 60 seconds and then I will show you the colours of the gel art liners that I'm going to be using to create today's artwork. Um, I have had to cut out a fair amount of the art process purely because I got carried away and intrigued in what I was doing that I forgot to check that I was in frame. So I, I did realise while I was actually recording it so although I cut some of the process out on some of the nails I do actually show you on my thumb all of it I made sure that I got that one all in view for you and I did zoom in so you can see how I do it on the thumb but it's pretty once you see like one one flower done it's it's pretty easy to see what I'm doing and basically you just put the flowers on the nails wherever you want them to go I just wanted them down at like the the free edge side of it so that's where I concentrated on putting my art paint so yeah I will let you watch the remainder of this and I will catch you in the next video thank you for joining me if you love this video please give me a like a comment would be amazing and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.